We welcome you to the Ellen Channel, where we discuss different topics such as window shades, technology, current issues, history, ancient philosophies, and design. If the whole universe has no meaning, we should never have found out that it has no meaning. Just as if there were no light in the universe and therefore no creatures with eyes, we should never know it was dark. C.S. Lewis. Fun fact of the day. Orion is the largest constellation of all, and due to its location, it can be viewed by everyone from any part of the world. In keeping up with our last video on the significance of the number 12, whether spiritual or astronomy related, today we bring you an interesting perspective on the birth signs of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ. More or less, it's a fun assessment done by experts in this area that simply falls in alignment with the personalities written about them in the Bible. First up is the sign of Aries, otherwise better known as the Ram. Much like the creature itself, Simon Peter is said to best identify as an Aries due to his enthusiastic and fire-like energy. But did you know that this sign is also associated with the Roman god of war, Mars? This is because Peter constantly showed impulsive behavior with his overly impatient manner of speech and leadership. Then there was Simon the Zealot, who was part of the Zealot's political affiliation against the Roman government of the time, whom enthusiasts claimed that he was a Taurus due to his stubborn nature. In his natural self, Simon consistently strived to maintain physical security and financial well-being like a true Taurus. Next up is the disciple James the Gemini. Although known as a great establisher of the church and a dependable, articulate leader post-resurrection of Jesus Christ, James also falls in the category of being two-faced, for lack of a better term, since he was, after all, pretty much the half-brother of Jesus due to Mary's miraculous conception of Jesus, but natural conception of James. The fourth disciple, in accordance to the order of birth signs, is Andrew. Andrew was Peter's brother, and of the two brothers, the former was much more of the empathetic type. A night and day difference, if you ask me. Being always aware of others and their spiritual and physical needs, experts ascertained that Andrew was most likely a cancer, which is a sign that's best known as being nurturing, sensitive, and faithful. The fifth sign is Leo, whom John is the most identified with. Leos are said to be great helpers to all, but their weakness is that they love being the center of attention. And thus, it's quite amusing to read his writings, such as the Gospel of John, where he calls himself the disciple whom Jesus loved. But that's also with good reason, because he was pretty much the only one who was faithful to the end during the account of the crucifixion. Finally, the sixth disciple was Philip, the textbook example of a Virgo, always curious, inquisitive, and pensive. As with most Virgos, Philip loved to have all his ducks in a row by finding out every possible fact about every single thing before moving forward. That's the first six disciples for today. We will continue with the remaining six on next week's video. If you're one of these birth signs, do you relate to them in any way? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.